Hey everyone, Chris from Pelleggi Tech here. Today we're going to be doing a case repair on my DeWalt 20 volt brushless impact gun. And you see I got the bungee cord around here to hold it in place. This actually fell off a you know, maybe 10, 12 foot height from a ladder and did the old bouncy shaky routine when it landed and snapped right here, which is of course a bummer. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on how you look at it, I only have the slim battery, so at least there's not a lot of weight on this that completely severed it. But still, it's a bunch of suck that this impact gun had that happen to it. After all, it was only maybe six months old, not even, when it happened. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and do this now. I found this on Amazon. It was less than 20 bucks with the shipping. And it looks to be like it's the exact piece. Um, it doesn't seem like it's aftermarket at all. Um, I'll know better when I get inside what the model numbers look like. But just looking at this as it is, I'm really surprised it broke, to be honest with you, because it seems like it's pretty stout. Not a lot of flex in this case, so I'm not really sure how that happened, but regardless, we're gonna go ahead and take this apart. Uh, you're gonna go ahead and wanna take the battery off first, obviously. Um, now you'll notice looking at this thing, there's no stickers on the new one. So we're gonna have to reuse the old stickers. Some places they'll have to come off first, like down here where the speed indicator is, back here where the brushless motor icon sticker is uh, because the case splits at those points. The one down here too will have to come off. Uh, there's a couple ways to do that. You could hit it with a heat gun and melt the glue a little bit and peel it off, which is probably the method I'm gonna use. Uh, I do have one of these X-Acto knives over here that I can get underneath it and lift it off. But the point is, is we're gonna go ahead and do that. You don't have to, but it's kind of plain Jean without it. So I'll go ahead and do all that now. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. I left the ones that need to go onto the split areas off to the side for later. Uh, the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and take off the belt clip. And that's it for the moment. So we're gonna go ahead and take a T10 Torx bit here and start removing all these screws keeping in mind the length of them they may or may not be the same if they're not then you'll want to pay attention to that fortunately this video will help with that okay that's all of them out they all are seemingly the same length now presumably this case should just separate and here we go so while i have this open we could look around and see this has like i said have about six months of use every day looks like it's releasing a little bit of its grease here that's a little interesting as far as the rest of the construction looks it's typical everything's potted in resin which is nice they even went as far as to put some celastic on it looks like actually the wire is completely encapsulated at the end here in resin it doesn't even look like celastic it's a little a little springy not much but pretty good i mean it seems like everything here is nicely built but i still don't understand why that snapped right there. You can actually see, maybe maybe you could see, that hairline crack continued all the way through and in the front, the only thing holding it on is the over molding on the, the outer exterior, the rubber. One thing that was not included with the new case is the anti-theft device that won't be necessary. Uh, actually interesting, it doesn't seem like that spot is in, even in the, the new case. Uh, no, I lie. It's there. That's interesting. They have a spot right there, but enough about that. Okay, so here's the other side. You can see that just severed all the way through. Very surprising. And if it wasn't for this rubber, that would have broke right through, and perhaps I would have damaged electronics. And I think this was like 130 bucks when I bought it without the battery. I had to have the, the brushless version of it. All right, anyway, enough about that. The rest of this stuff should just pop right out of here. I don't see anything else holding it in. Now, one thing that's interesting about this model that it has the speed control on it and the other impact guns I've had in the past didn't have a speed control. And that was one of the reasons why I like this one too. Yeah, it's pretty curious that that grease is leaking out there like that. But then again, I'm not terribly surprised. It's funny how the greater sum of its parts is stronger than two pieces of part are. And it seems that our little metal clip actually goes up here in this little trough. And there's also a little slot back here, you may or may not be able to see, that the back end of this will slot into there. So we have to get this in just right. 
and it should go. And also keep in mind the forward reverse piece here. Slide this out a little bit. You'll see that there's a tab that right here has to line up with this pin. So you kind of want to put this all back in together. The rest of this stuff just slots in. And of course, make sure none of the wires are pinching while you're at it and give this a good clean out. All right, now I'll take the other case and make sure none of the wires are pinching. It looks like this wire up here has to get pushed down into position a little better. Use a little probe here or something to do so. Let's check out to see which way this guy goes. It looks like it just sits at the end there. And then just line everything up, make sure it's fitting in just right. It can get a little fiddly. But of course, that's just the nature of this. It's not exactly like it's a Swiss watch, but it should just should just kind of go. I have to give it a little little squeeze here, a little little snap there. And something's not quite lining up in the front down in this area. Not sure what that's all about. So we're gonna have to gently pop this back off and see if there's anything down there pinching. Make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. This little little clip here looks like it's symmetrical, so it shouldn't matter which way is in. Again, check all the wires. That's better. And then we'll go ahead and just assemble the screws. All right, and before we put the rest of the stickers on that cover the seams, of course, we're gonna test it. So we'll go ahead and chuck the battery in. Everything connects fine that way. The switch, everything clicks in right there. The switch down here feels right. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. And there you be. It's like a brand new bolt one. And of course, don't forget to put your belt clip back on. I think this is the side I like it on. Don't really remember. It doesn't really matter too much. That's it. It did break my heart to see it break. And of course, I was one of those people that said, oh crap, is it the, the tool that it's, you know, engineered to fail? Or I thought maybe this over molding went all the way through it and I, that would be, you know, terrible, but it doesn't seem to be the case. I'm not sure what happened there. It must've been just the way it impacted. I'm not a plastics expert, so I can't tell you how that broke, but you can see it kind of like sheared possibly. It has like a very granular texture to it. If you have any idea what caused that or you know how that's stressed, let me know in the comments. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, leave them below and we'll see you guys next video.